is open source software and why does it matter? Open source software is software with source code that anyone can inspect, modify, and enhance. Source code are the human readable instructions that make up a program. Often, that source code needs to be compiled into binary code, into an executable that the computer is actually going to run. Now, all programs are copyrighted from the moment they're created. And so your rights to run a program basically depend on the license under which the copyright holder provides you that software. Traditionally, the way that this would work would be the software developer would give you that compiled binary and license it to you under terms that allowed you to run that binary, but not to provide it to other people. Nor would you have the rights to look at the source code that controlled how it, how it runs, um, nor could you change that source code or distribute any changes to anyone else. With open source distribution, it works differently. Again, it's still based on copyright law. The basic idea is it's copyrighted by originally by the developer who wrote the software. He may sign over that copyright to someone else or keep it for himself. But either way, the copyright holder then licenses that code to others under an open source license. That license is more flexible than a traditional software license. The license specifies, if it's an open source license, that not only can the customer run the program, but they also can view the source, see how it works. They can change the source um, to make um, improvements to it or fix issues, compile it themselves and run the results themselves, and furthermore, redistribute the resulting changes royalty-free to others so that, that their changes can be shared in general to the rest of the community under the same terms that they originally got access to that source. Now, there's more than one way to be open source, and many different open source licenses exist. The reason for this is the license terms control how that source code can be combined with other code. Um, there's two major classes of open source license. There are copyleft or share-alike licenses that are designed to encourage the development of open source software and to keep code once it's open source um, as open source code. And then there are permissive licenses. They're designed to maximize how much that code can be reused and combined with other code, um, but which allow those, that code to be combined with non-open source code or redistributed in a non-open source way. So, for example, a copyleft license would specify that anyone who redistributes the source with or without changes have to pass along the freedom for others to make the same um, changes to the code. This, this basically is meant to encourage more open source software to become available, that any improvements that are made to the software aren't proprietary but are shared with everybody. Um, and it uses copyright as the underpinnings in order to make sure that this licenses, these licenses can be enforced and controlled. This is how this works. Um, some common um, copyleft licenses include the GNU General Public License, or the GPL, or the lesser GNU Public License, the LGPL, which is, provides some special um, ways that it can be combined with other code that for use with shared libraries. Either way, both of these licenses are very widely used in the open source community. The other major kind of license, the permissive license, allow proprietary derivative works or, propri or, or open source works. The idea is you can use the source code for any purpose you like, as long as the copyright and license statements are preserved and that you follow any other terms of the license that don't restrict its distribution. For example, the license may specify that the person providing it to you is disclaiming um, um, legal liability or there may be some other terms that are in there as well. But the basic idea is these permissive licenses can be reused in combination with more restrictive licenses. So open source code could be combined with code that's currently proprietary and that proprietary code could be kept proprietary. Or it could be combined with a more restrictive open source license, like a copyleft license, and the resulting code would be distributed under a copyleft license. 
This maximizes people's ability to reuse this code and learn from it at the risk of encouraging more proprietary only improvements. There are several commonly used permissive licenses, um, the MIT X11 license, the simplified 2 cloud BSD license, and um, version 2.0 of the Apache software license all fall into this category. Whether you're working with a copyleft license or whether you're working with a permissive license, open source promotes improved development practices. It encourages collaborative development between people in different organizations who are working together with open software. It encourages transparency. It's open source. Everyone who's participating in the project can see what's going on. Even people not participating in the project can download the code, look at the code itself, see how it works, learn from it, improve it, um, evaluate it. It promotes rapid development, uh, be, in part because there are fewer hurdles to jump over. You don't have to worry so much about, are people allowed to see this? Because everyone's allowed to see this. Another thing that open source development encourages are open standards. Open standards basically, um, again, in contrast with proprietary standards, are standard ways to do things, standard network protocols, standard ways for services to communicate with each other, and so forth. The idea is an open standard encourages different vendors to implement solutions in a way that's going to be interoperable, that will work well together. For example, if you're providing a standard API that's used for a, a web service to communicate with another web service, that might, um, if it's specified under an open standard, it's going to be a lot easier to figure out how to, how to implement that. You could have multiple people try to do better implementations than each other, where if the standard is closed and proprietary and secret, it's going to be a lot harder for improvements to happen. It's going to be a lot less likely for um, better solutions to be developed, and so on. Open standards provide higher quality due to op open collaboration. It prevents vendor lock-in. You're not dependent on just one vendor in order to accomplish something. It improves interoperability between products. It helps facilitate development of integrated solutions in your data center and encourages standardization. Now you might ask me, if open source is freely available, if anyone can download this source, if people who download the source can share it with anyone, can this be commercial? It's absolutely true that open source pr products can be used in a commercial way and can support commercial businesses. Open source is a critical part of many organizations' commercial operations today. The, the internet, the web, cloud services are all built on Linux and built on open source solutions. Open source software may even be offered commercially. The tricky part there, of course, is that the open source licenses grant the right for customers and recipients to redistribute the code, um, potentially for, for no fee. Um, so this requires some clever thinking in order to, to run a commercial business based on open source software. For example, one way that you might do this is to provide help deploying, supporting, or extending the open source solutions. Just because the source is open doesn't mean that everyone has the skill to make changes to it, to evaluate it, to improve it. And that's one of the things that Red Hat provides with our open source solutions is knowledge, is assistance, is connection with the open source community to help you better integrate open source solutions in your environment. That concludes this topic. See you at the next video.